down below. In other words, the chair is too tall to get what you want done. We'll move you forward just a little. Your hands go behind your head. We're going to rotate you as far as 90 degrees if possible. And then we're coming down in between the center of both legs as we come down. All right? Feel that. So we're going to rotate as far as possible and come down between both knees. You can see where we're opening up here. One of the erectors, aren't we? One of the erectors as we turn. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. There you go. All right, we're going the other way. Okay. So we're rotating as far as possible, in this case to the right, and coming down dead center between both knees. She's a lot tighter on this side, isn't she? So her right erector is tighter than her left erector. Kinds of things you would find with scoliosis. Should the client's eyes be looking down to direct them down? No, because you're turning your head exactly, so it's all the way over there. So should they be looking up to the ceiling? Neither one. They're looking horizontal. They're looking horizontal. Yeah. Okay. As they come down. Okay. The eyes won't have a lot of influence on this. As if they're trying to get somewhere other than straight ahead. I just didn't know where they should go. Yeah. Straight ahead. There we go. See how it's opening up now? Last one. We'll do about a half a dozen both directions on each person. Go. Oh. 